This is what we'll make in this video, a Sankey chart, with one of the newest features of Tableau, Viz Extensions. My name's Tim. I'm a member of the 45th Data School cohort here at the Information Lab, and I want to walk you through it, as it's one of the most exciting new features added recently, allowing Tableau and third-party developers to create new types of visualization that aren't pre-built into Tableau Desktop or Tableau Cloud. Although the feature only came out a few weeks ago in 2024.2, there are already dozens available on the Tableau website, and one of my favorites that I'm going to walk you through creating right now is the Sankey diagram, which is a great way of showing how two groups relate to each other. So let's jump right in. The data I'm using is taken from YouGov's website, and there's a link to that below, and it was polling data taken just after this year's UK general election. I'm using this because politics contains a great use for Sankey diagrams, which is, who did you vote for last time, and who will you vote for this time? The question asked here was very slightly different, with both questions being in the past tense, but I took the data and typed it up into an Excel spreadsheet. A little bit of maths enabled me to turn those various percentages into actual numbers from the 42,000 voters that were sampled, leaving me with 56 potential types of voters. That's the number of categories in the first and second groupings multiplied together. Now that's done, I'll load the data into Tableau, make sure we've got the right sheet loaded up, and then create a new viz. The first thing to do is to load up the extension, which we can do by clicking on the drop-down menu in the Marks card, and then choosing the Add Extension button at the bottom here. The one we want is at the top of the list here, but there's also a search bar in the top left, and some filters here if you want those as well. But let's click on this to make sure it's the right one. Looks all right to me, so let's click the Open button there. As far as now building the chart goes, as with so many tasks in Tableau, I was amazed when I saw how easy it was. We drag our required dimensions onto the Levels button here, and then our required measure over to the Link button. And voila, one Sankey diagram. Now, obviously, with a potential 56 links between the two dimensions, this can look quite messy. But this is where the ease of Tableau's filtering comes into play. We can obviously use whichever dimension or measure we want to filter by, but one that's great to filter with in this case is the measure we're using as our link. So let's drag this up to the filter card, aggregate by sum, and choose next, and then we get the slider here. And let's bring the lower slider up a little bit, choose the OK button, and then immediately we lose a lot of the thinner links, which gives us a much simpler one to look at. We can, of course, right-click on here, choose Show Filter, and then we can play around with this however we want and really make it look however we'd like it to. And that's the basics of Viz Extensions and Sankey Diagrams in Tableau. There's obviously more to play with, including different color schemes, like that. Clicking on different areas to perform various parameter or set actions, if you want. And indeed, having multiple levels. But for now, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you feel a lot more confident with Viz Extensions and Sankey Diagrams. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll absolutely love this related how-to video by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail in the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos. Thank you again for watching.